It's spooky season and that means we're all up for some scary stories and here to share their own boozy scary stories is Jody Bogle, VP of Consumer Relations with Phantom Wines. Hey Jody, how are you? Hi, Ileana. Thanks so much for having me on. Of course. Thank you so much for being here. So, okay, before we get into it, tell me a little bit about Bogle Winery and the Phantom Wines. So Phantom Wines are our reserve selection of wines. We started making them in 1999, and they started because somebody uh, started seeing things. There were slight um, things that were happening in the cellar and the vineyards that nobody could quite explain. Okay, so some unexplained things in the vineyards. Is mm -hmm. it true then that there have been some paranormal sightings there at Bogle Vineyards? There are lots of stories uh, from for, for over the last 20, 30 years. People have talked about hearing um, noises, having glimpses of muddy boots and blue jeans when no one else is around. Um, very, very um, spooky, app, you know, quite sightings of apparitions, things that really can't be explained here in our cellars. Oh, my goodness. Is there any idea of who these sightings might be? Well, bogle is actually the Scottish word for ghost. Um, it goes all the way back mm -hmm. to our Scottish roots. Our family came from Scotland generations ago. And it's said that the boogeyman or the bogart, um, the bogle man from Scotland, came with our family and perhaps is still lurking today. Oh, my gosh. What a family story. <laughs> It's been a lot of fun, what, and we what we love is that we've been able to have some fun with it, right? We don't believe it's a scary phantom or a nefarious phantom. For us, it's kind of like the ghosts of grandpa and mom and dad making sure we're doing everything right. That's um, right. The business was started by them years ago, and so my brothers and I are the third generation to, to make phantom wines now. That's amazing. Now, have you had any ghost seekers come out to the winery in search of capturing the spirit? So no one has actually caught technological proof yet, but I guarantee you um, there, there's something going on. At least three times a day, I get notification from my daughter's bedroom that, and I live here on property, mm -hmm. that there's movement or something in her bedroom. So, and of course she's at school, no one's home. Right. But there's also been, there's also been lots and lots of um, unexplainable things like pieces of equipment moved or... Um, people hearing things um, in different areas that just can't be explained. Oh my gosh. Now, how did the name of Phantom Wines come about? So that's, we wanted to kind of talk to that Bogle ghost that came from Scotland. Mm -hmm. And so that was why we thought Phantom would be a great name. I love that. That's kind of a fun way to keep kind of the family name going and the tradition mm -hmm. going. And kind of also, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's education. It's educating, you know, you just educated me on what Bogle means. So I love that. Yes. Now, where can we try Phantom Wines? I see you out there. It's beautiful. We Yes, we are here at our beautiful home ranch here in Clarksburg, California. We're just about 20 minutes south of Sacramento, and our wine shop is open daily. Um, but you can also find our Phantom uh, at just about every retailer in Northern Cal and Central California. That's amazing. Thank you so much for being here, Jody. I really do appreciate it. And thanks for sending over all this fun stuff. I'm super excited to have myself a good night. We've got some Phantom Chardonnay here, and then we've got another bottle and some other treats that's, that you guys sent yep, over. I'm so our, excited. You've got our Phantom Red Blend too. Yes. Yep. What do you suggest pairing these with? I would dim the lights, mm -hmm. light some candles, All right. Uh, put out some maybe some baked brie or some apples and some grapes, and just see what happens. Jody, now you're talking my language. Thank you again for being here. I hope you have a spooky and boozy Halloween. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. All right, guys, that is it for us for another episode of Studio 17 Live. If you'd like, in the meantime, for more, make sure you follow us at Studio 17 Live or connect with me on social media at Eliana Capellan. Make sure you email us, studio17live at kget.com for more information. In the meantime, that's it for us. See ya.